Hello, in this video, I want to continue the series that we've been doing in terms of talking about black Marxism and water. In this particular video, I want to continue what we were talking about in the last one in terms of developing how we think about responding to uh, black Marx, uh, how we use black Marxism in order to respond to critical arguments and black Marxism as a negative argument versus critical arguments. I think that if you haven't, you should definitely tune into the intro to black Marxism and water. That definitely kind of frames what I'm thinking a lot of like the justifications for why this is such a good strategy on the particular resolution that's upcoming. and also why I think that it is particularly good as a strategy developed against K teams in a particular uh, fashion, depending on the ways in which you want to speak to the comp particular histories of the water resolution, which I think can only really help you in terms of developing strategy overall. If not, you should definitely check out at least the last video that I just did talking about black Marxism um, and water art as a negative strategy on the uh, upcoming resolution because a lot of that video does the kind of like intro work of how I'm thinking about what the priorities and the best form of this argument really looks like against K teams, which will kind of like frame and form a lot of the thoughts that I'm thinking in order to continue and make a lot of the arguments I'll be talking about in these particular videos. And so hopefully you're kind of like tuning in and keeping up with the series in order to get a really good idea of kind of like how these things work in a continuance and also are kind of like building up off of how these videos really relate to each other and kind of build strategies based off of like uh, ideas and priorities that I'm seeing based on like the core fundamentals of what these arguments are really supposed to symbolize and do. I think that when you're trying to figure out what your priorities are versus, uh, I think when you're trying to figure out what your kind of like link arguments are and the priority that you should have on the type of link arguments you're making versus critical teams with this type of argument, I think you really want to focus on how the kind of like particular framing of racial capitalism allows you to bring up a really complex history that I think that every affirmative should really have to deal with, which is racial dispossession and its relationship to water. I think that any critical affirmative that isn't able to really deal with how that kind of structures the relationship and the urgency of like environmental and like water crisis definitely. I think you already have an upper hand on in terms of their ability to think about what is kind of the organizing purpose and like who should we should be prioritizing as we organize because I think that racial capitalism although like race may not be the ter determining over determining factor of uh, what how we're supposed to organize under capitalism I think understanding the specific history of how it changes conceptions of how Marxism is thinking about organizing and the types of like organizer principles that come along with the kind of like pushing of the impact comparison in the link debate as a reason why there's kind of like an uh, inactivity to the affirmative or a non materialist practice of the affirmative and like why that kind of serves as a detriment to the urgency of the impact debate that you're trying to bring up really is kind of building into this continuity that you have from the last video before where I was talking about why kind of pressing that materiality question from the lens of making your impacts more impressive with these with this type of explanation and development can really kind of help in terms of like showing why the impacts to your link arguments really connect uh, to the rest of the debate that you really want to have and then I think in addition to that you then have to go on the question of how can you diversify links beyond being a question of whether or not they have like organized against capitalism or not because i definitely think there are a lot of other bases to organizing it to uh, critique various uh, critical teams in a variety of ways that i think that you can just generally go beyond in terms of just sticking to like whether or not they particularly organize against the system of criticism is isolating i think there are a lot of arguments to be made about the particular ideas about the power of like performance debate and the power of like what organizing structures of like around identity politics are particularly really good places where black marxism comes in as a criticism because i think that black marxism as a critique of the idea that identity politics allows a full formation of how we're able to think about organizing definitely allows you to break down various forms of like the kind of like failures that happen in various other movements and the way in which like a, a form of like understanding of racial capitalism that comes to terms and kind of forwards a way of thinking about like the lump and proletariat and various types of like dispossession and violence as ways of kind of sectioning out how we should figure out differential ways of organizing against capitalism definitely allow you to make particular arguments about why some of like the broader kind of like framing ideas that a lot of these affirmatives will have in terms of what we should do in relationship to the resolution are kind of like bankrupt in their ability to transition into like particular praxis and i think with framing arguments that you kind of established in the last video before you can really hold them into like this kind of example space debate that allows you to really short circuit their ability to access certain examples that may like get you into trouble like permutations and ones that you just don't have a lot of game on while also really doing a good job of trying to like zone in on why the particular kind of like framing of um the way in which this organizing happens as like a secondary question to like whether or not we can recognize a particular type of violence the app is organizing is exactly what continues to uh forward and make it uh possible for the continuation of racial capitalism as this kind of like backdrop for like how we recognize certain models of like what liberation and resistance look like and i think that going down the line of kind of making the arguments that kind of stem from those two ideological branches can definitely help you develop really interesting offense throughout the resolution and throughout various types of critical arguments as a whole i think that then we 
when you kind of like transition this into what I think generally about like the possibility of a permutation argument and how you should be debating against the permutation. I think that this is like the place where most critical teams will really try to slide themselves in. I think that a lot of times critical teams uh, have kind of leaned more on their ability to win that kind of the particular failures within different capitalist movements necessitate necessitate the corrective that is the affirmative at some level or that the affirmative is kind of integral to the organizing process of the affirmative. And I think that uh, first of all, the using your framing arguments to kind of like make the judge like think about the debate as a question of forced decisions and kind of make, make arguments about like why a revolutionary education requires us to make decisions between particular strategies and tactics can be a really good place for you to like hold the debate as a whole the uh place that i think that you can kind of like continue to develop more arguments against the permutation as it gets more specific and contextual is by explaining why the particular types of organizing principles that the affirmative holds itself to isn't actually a corrective to the failures of particular uh, movements but rather is one that kind of like invests in a reorganization of the failures that are already existent and i think that you need to begin to excite examples of what type of like particular tactics and not particular like names of movements can kind of resolve some of these questions because i often think that when you're really dive, diving deeper into these strategies it's a lot easier to defend how kind of tactics look and how they can be deployed rather than trying to assign yourself to defending particular like movements as they are just being named generically when you kind of like apply this uh, kind of like advice to the impact comparison as a whole you can kind of see throughout like this video and the last one how impact comparison is really important as how you kind of like press it and make it influential throughout the rest of the flow when you're doing impact comparison as like an isolated form of the debate you really need to impress upon the judge why it is although it is important to think about the kind of like pressing matter of the crises of water environmentalism it is also important to think about how like racial capitalism structures our ability to think about the capacity of resistance as a whole and its ability to really kind of like basically reshuffle and refuse the kind of terms in which civil society is basically developed from and i think that being able to really impress upon that as kind of like the both proximate cause and as kind of like this urgent kind of like unique matter happening now really puts the other team in a hard bind in terms of how they're able to win a particular outweighs a type of claim and so i think you're often forced to try to find in routes to your impact which i think with the type of offense that you develop throughout the rest of this video should definitely be good at kind of stopping that from being like the best place for them to really invest time in i think that as you kind of move from that the place that you really want to send an alternative as i said before is really a place where you think about like what type of ideology do you think could really drive a competitive uh way of organizing against the affirmative and then how can you name particular tactics that fall under the organizing model without having to really defend i think a lot of the baggage that comes with really holding yourself to particular movements and think about a different type of terms for you to like hold examples and think about the implementation of particular examples in order to really hold yourself to a standard where the judge can evaluate the efficacy of the alternative versus the affirmative while still kind of understanding that you don't need to be culpable for all of the various failures of various movements that i think teams will kind of be quick to bring up in these types of debates hopefully this video is helpful for you and hopefully you'll keep tuning into more videos i'll be doing because i really enjoy doing this series and yeah thanks for watching